Step back. LAPD. That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you're out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple of hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. doesn't appear to be connected. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons, for short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Bridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and salve your conscience. I'm all ears, Doctor. I will transact to take all the narcotic off your hands. Rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy.
You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps? Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number, AL345. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks for your help. You know the place? Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Uh, you got a problem, pal? Door's unlocked. Looks like he's had a broad up here. I think someone's had a few too many. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch, no chance.
guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. All right, let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. is over the hill. He's a punching bag for the up-and-comers. She should know his goddamn place. I think he knows. I think he worked out the place isn't L.A. He's punchy. His brain's going to mush. Winston Churchill? Give me a break. Churchill is a fighter, Roy. Hammond didn't just scribble down the first name he could think of. So, you boxed in the Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. We need to know which room is Candy's. A skeleton goes you, into gentlemen? a bar. And LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. This guy must have escaped from the loony bin. Tell a man that there are 400 billion stars in the Belize. Tell him a bench has wet paint on it and he has to touch it. Sounds like we're missing all the fun. Get in there, Phelps. You know where he's hiding. Now tell me where he is before I cut you. <laughs> like hitting women. <laughs> this isn't going to end well for you, friend. Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on the mall being bookmakers? Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. She's leaving town. Mm. 
single ticket, one way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Scania sails from New York. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. You ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money too, tough guy. I'll handle this. Good luck, Miss Edward. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out, see where she goes. Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you.
Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Been at risk losing the trail. Too much slack. Gotta get closer. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. Here's what I heard. That cop A blonde woman just came in here. Medallion. She they went out the back up. way. Said she was being consumer. watched. How much does she collect? $3,600. She cleaned me out. On the Hammond Kid Galahad fight? You got it. I'm not complaining. We all made a lot of money on that one. Huge plunge on Galahad, and then Hammond knocks the bum out. So she collected the money and went out through the back door? Nope. She made a phone call over there, wrote something on a notepad, and then left. What are you doing? An old intelligence trick from the Marines.
We know where she's headed. Let's get moving. Wow, that looks like a beauty. Car 11K, 11 King, further to your request, Bunko Fraud has three known bookmakers operating out of storefronts in the Hollywood area. Thrifty Liquor, 6106 Santa Monica, the Examiner Drugstore, and a Max Spirits at 1658 North Cherokee. KGP all clear. and backed himself to win. And Candy is picking up the winnings. Smart play. Question is, is Candy collecting on Albert's behalf or is she cheating him too? Detectives Phelps and Earl, LAPD. Relax, Cole. You just have a blonde in here, Mervyn? Sure did. I'm just about to close up. She took me to the cleaners. 4,000 clams and change. How long ago did she leave? Maybe five minutes. Called a cab. Asked for a number. I told her there was a card over there by the phone. Yellow cab. We need to get after her, fast. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Can you connect me to the yellow cab company? Hollywood 2187, please. This is Detective Phelps, LAPD. You dispatched a cab to 1487 Ivar Avenue, Hollywood. Yes, sir. Send one round from the pool. Do you have the number of that cab? Number 179. Thanks. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. We're done playing around. Get Mervyn to give us an address on Ray's place. You have any idea who Ray is? Sugar Ray. Not now, Mervyn. Cole doesn't have much of a sense of humor at the best of times. Ray runs a shop up on North Cherokee Avenue, just south of Hollywood Boulevard. Broad's planning on cleaning out every bookmaker in town. Hammond needed to make sure he was getting a bigger payday than if he'd taken the flop. Never trust the limeys, especially where a fight's concerned. A mistake we can't seem to stop making. Any of the vicinity officer needs assistance. 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North Highland Avenue. Unit to handle code 2 identify. Look 
where you're going! You pulled down your liability on the road! That's the cab waiting up ahead. She's not in the car. Don't get too close. She must be inside. We're on the move again, Cole. After her. Don't lose that cab. stops is she gonna make? Can you quit driving like a jackass already? That bitch has given me what I'm owed. That's all I know. Pull over. She's heading inside. I think I just saw Hammond. I'll tail him. You get in there and stay with Candy. Make sure you don't let her see you. She was a five-star goddamn wedding. Three blondes walk into a bar. You'd think one of them would have seen it. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. Did you read about the woman who stabbed her husband and then pushed him in front of the car? That's the cop who caught her. Freaking <laughs> <laughs> this guy must have escaped the loony. Call an ambulance. Hammond got away. <coughs> he said... Just Don't try and sit still, Candy. Who shot you? Was it Albert? Car. I... They're on the way. I have a patrolman searching the depot. The chief's putting together a manhunt for Hammond. He got the money, right? Looks like it. A tough bird, our limey friend. 
using his girlfriend as the bag woman and then getting greedy over the split? He won't make it out of town. That's how you see it? I told you that cocksucker was a crook. Thirty-two caliber, one shot fired. The Egyptian theater. So, what now? The theater, I guess. We don't have much else to go on. Poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl. Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. This seems like a long shot, aren't they all? Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB Son of a bitch. He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea cocksucker. You think he got the money too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. And you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best. Kid. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying. And it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much. But I had that. I did it for you, and that's how you repay me! You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it to make a quick buck. And Candy did it to make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business.
We've heard enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big mistake, Arcaro. Cole, Carlo's a dead man. Hammond, too, when I find him. Where are you? You limey cocksucker. Find some cover! That son of a bitch owes me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. Fuck you! That English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps! Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and the, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's Homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Say goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Ah, scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end, and it was one here. You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant.
Earl Phelps, a shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. My sister's always been lucky when it can just... You think those vice boys get any on the side? God damn it. We can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices in the place. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. The cop from the newspaper. I'll never find out. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. And get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD'd. Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree? We've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Another day, another dollar. Just when I think I've seen it all.
Never the same, are they? Must have pumped a dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Is somebody gonna tell us what the hell is going on? Bad luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city... Try to crack the safe. from what's left in circulation. Find anything interesting? Well-maintained, custom case. Someone cared for this instrument. Same, are they? <coughs> Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. We should follow up on the musician angle.
kept his stash close at hand. dozen packs to a carton, a hundred cartons or more, looks like a couple of months' supply. These look brand new, never fired, they haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. Is this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, Administrative Vice Squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Eddie was in over his head, but he was a decent boss. Find anything interesting?
You look like you were a big pain in the neck. Now I have a much lower opinion. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guy... Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries, Undustunfura? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He... Loved the music, but the music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have... Never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. But words are just words, Cole Phelps. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixer. Cohen? Do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner.
risk losing the trail. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. He's dull as dishwater, but I'm not with him for the conversation. I think Gregory Peck's my perfect man. LAPD, we have some questions. Hi, regarding... Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine, just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman, too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment? Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit, and I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life, quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. 
Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Oh, that fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Mm -hmm. 1947, not 1927. Of course a girl can ask Harry. the fella out. You got a minute? Sure, Cole, anytime. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? A case of BARs, a case of Thompsons, a crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. I say we bust so in So, how do we connect the, the docks evidence. robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Mouthpiece tore strips off me at the grand jury. Case was thrown out, now the DA wants my head. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. I want to make homicide. You know you've made Enough to arm three companies. That bum took a this is the crate we recovered. Put him down in my sap. Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon, McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives! KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! I'm praying that those prints come through so I can nail that son of a bitch. I'm telling you, it'll never stick and you'll get roasted. All units, officers need help at 1384 North Bronson. North Bronson, shots fired. Any units to handle, identify. Code 3. All units, further on the shooting at 1384 North Bronson. 116 Adam reports the suspect is on the roof of the J.W. Robinson building. All units approach with caution. Units 49 William 15 Adam, go to 1370 Gordon Street. Establish a perimeter and stand by for further. Any other units to respond? Code 3, identify. Unit 19, Adam, meet the officer at 5920. 
Now! Reinforcements are on the way! Seats, this is... Oh, I got you! Now, or I will use deadly force! It's one of the BARs. Phone number and restaurant table. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship? His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? This is my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters.
Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying his story? Not for a minute. Nice day for it. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks, ma'am. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Officers need help. Hollywood and Island. Hollywood and Island. Officers need help. 211 in progress and shots fired. Unit to handle code 3. Identify. like to come inside. Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. There's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine. That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. <laughs> Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? 
What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. I'm getting close and scare him off the tar. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Let's see how fast he runs on bare rims. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. No good, we need to get closer. have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. 
My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl, detective, administrative vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. Owen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. An LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack. What are you doing? Any sentry unit of 484 just occurred, 3155 West 4th Street. Unit to handle code 3, identify. Take the shot. 
shot from here, Cole. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. LAPD, put your hands in the air. Isn't that the cop who won the medal and is solving all the cases? Tell Courtney, B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it?
coroner says it's going to take at least a week to get an ID. Not right now, huh? Beautiful day. Hope we have no trouble. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Majewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here.
I'm gonna put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APB on the car 11K, car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11K, go to Hollywood Station. A Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Car 11 King en route. <laughs> In my office, if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm that close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap... No buts. This is more important. You're the reason brothers and sisters should have married. The coroner says it's gonna take at least a week to get an idea. You're in interview, too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with him. What gives? Beats me. Word came down from the chief that it was okay. Don't go around. Are you there? I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Is this a picture of you? I'm in California to be a secretary. I didn't come to California to be a secretary. Sheldon. Is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. Is the captain here? I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? Can you give me the no, no, no. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old dude. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. 
Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor! Good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. You certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures, lad. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole.
Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Guy gave his wife a tap. I said all's fair in love and war.